Hi everyone and welcome back to Chef Seats. Today I'm making everyone's favorite roasted prime rib. You know, the best part about roasted prime rib, it's so easy. It's mind-numbingly easy. We just need to know the proper technique. And just like always, only thing we're gonna need are a few simple ingredients. So let's get started. Now to start this simple recipe, what I like to point out is that buying this bone in. See, you have the bone in and then you could either remove it or have your butcher do it. They'll be happy to do it either way and make sure we season the top bottom sides really really aggressively with a lot of salt and a lot of pepper. Now before I did any of this, this prime rib has been sitting room temperature already out of the refrigerator for two hours. The reason why is that it's going to help even the cooking process so that the whole thing's not going to be ice cold and the high heat of the oven is going to be cooking it. You know we want a nice gentle cooking and this is going to help assist it. Make sure we season with a lot of pepper as well. A lot of pepper on the top bottom, sides, everywhere. Because what we're going to have to do now, we're going to truss it, tie it together with the bone, and we're going to allow it to set for about 30 minutes. That's an additional 30 minutes. So it's two and a half hours before it even goes into the oven, sitting at room temperature. If you follow this technique, you will have the proper prime rib, my friends. Nice aggressive seasoning. There we are. Now let's just pop this right on top, and we could tie it together. And now we're going to let it rest for another 30 minutes. After it's been resting for another 30 minutes, we're going to put it in a 225 degree oven. Oh, look at that beauty. She's just ready to roast. All right. So you know what? If it's about four and a half pounds, don't even bother opening that oven for about two and a half hours before you check it. Now in the meantime, what we can do is prepare our horseradish cream sauce. So just put a little bit of sour cream right on in. If you have creme fraiche at your house, that's totally fine. That might even make it a little bit better than that. Followed by the prepared horseradish. Everybody can buy this at your local grocery store. Just mix this right on top and follow with some salt. Just a nice nice pinch right here. Everything needs a little bit of seasoning. And now what we need to do is grate a little bit of lemon zest. This is going to give a nice little lightness to the creaminess of the sour cream. And now let's just mix it together. Tell me, does it get any easier than this? Not at all. Now I totally suggest in investing in an electric thermometer it's going to help you so much and when it reaches 130 degrees pull it out of the oven this is going to make it a nice perfect medium to medium rare there you are feel that little bounce so what we're going to do right now is cover it with aluminum foil and we're going to allow all these juices just to relax and allow the meat to rest after that we're going to pop it back into the oven at 450 degrees for 10 minutes okay this is going to give it this beautiful caramelization out here so after a 30 minute resting 450 degree oven 10 minutes, look at that. So wonderful right there. Oh man. All right, let's carve into it. Now guys, I just want you to understand, this was done at the house. This is how simple this is. Just using a proper technique and doing the right way, it's going to help you a million times. Now, best way to do this is, well, not too sure. English cut, baby cut. You know what? Chef seats. Let's just cut this whole bad boy in half. There we go. Nice. Now, the lighting isn't really helping out. It's looking a little more pinker, but this is a really nice red right here. Nice. See that even color all throughout? Well, now that that's done, time to plate up. So let's scoop some of our horseradish cream sauce right on the edge of some of the plate and swoop it across. Now let's just add some of the meat, half of it right here. And we'll just grab the other half and just set it adjacent to it. There we go. And, you know, I'm actually going to move this plate around because I think I could give you a better lighting so that you could see it nicer. There you are. You see how red this is? You see how even the cooking is? That's because we let it rest and come up in temperature before we even put it in the oven. Now let's garnish with some of the upland crust or water crust if you like. And a little bit of lemon zest. A little bit of lemon zest makes this dish go amazing. There we are. Lightens it up also. The heaviness of the roasted prime nib and with lots and lots of grated fresh horseradish. That's right, fresh horseradish all over the plate. Well folks, there you have it. Chef Seats Roasted Prime Rib. I'm really excited to share with you this technique and I'm really excited to hear how it all turned out for you. Here's a recipe that's following and tell me if you did any changes. I'm really excited to hear if you did any tweaks or if you have another technique. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.